Brothers, super excited for this video, and we're going to be testing the limits of match coverage post-patch. Uh, really, really excited about this. Going to be running a lot of match here in this video, and uh, going to be doing it actually out of the Cover 6 Willie. Uh, I think Cover 6 Willie is perfectly equipped to run match coverage. It's a match coverage kind of built within a meg coverage, which is kind of a unique way to do it. So we're just going to be trying this, and uh, we're just going to be seeing, like, do, do they bomb us? Where are the bombs? What do we have to be watching for? We're going to be using around the three rec. We're going to be sending four, and we're just going to see how this goes, okay? Because I think match coverage might be – this This might be literally the new way that you want to be playing defense because I feel like – the, the, the match coverage is really good, guys. It really is. Uh, we have quarters. We have willy. And then we have two blitzes that we can use situationally if we want to. But in general, um, our main thing is going to be to use this match. So we'll see kind of how this goes. There's a little, okay, so there's a little something, something. Let's clip that. A little match beater there on the right side. I don't know how that actually beats match, but it did. <laughs> Uh, let's get back in that cover six willy. I really like this cover six willy, boys. I'm actually going to user him. Shouldn't have usered him. Eh, that's frustrating. All right. But I think Matt, I really do think <laughs> match coverage. This guy's going to be doing, that's why I wanted to do this, because they're going to be running some random, random, random stuff. But in general, I think this can be really good. There you see there's that match. There it goes, cuts it, and it takes the ball away. That's perfect. That's exactly what you want to see out of that match coverage. Um, just just cutting things, man. It's going to cut those corners, those crossers, those posts super well. And this is why I think you're going to see the meta fundamentally be bunch strong. Um, it was already kind of bunch strong, and I think you're about to see it become completely bunch strong because <laughs> match coverage is good. It's really good. So... All right, here we go. We're going to do a little. I don't know if this combo will be good, but we're going to try it. Looking for this running back. Got that in route. Just a little bit more time. You see DB Fire does hum. DB Fire certainly hums. It's a good blitz now. Um, I think it's it, DB Fire got a lot better. Like DB Fire fundamentally got a lot better post-patch than it was pre-patch. So that is that is confirmed. A little post from the tight end. Trying to see if I can take advantage of these soft squats. Ag catching should – I feel like that actually should have kind of been a catch, not going to lie. I feel like he played that way better than he should have. All right. Let's go. Motion cross post. Trying to take advantage of the soft squat here on the right side. And there it is, boys. Seam streaks. Seam streaks, I'm telling you, seam streaks are still really good. And if they're going to play cover three, we are going to hit them in the seams. They got to be in cover two. And if they're in cover two soft squat, we're going to hit them on that fade. And we functionally are going to funnel everybody into a cover four coverage. That's why I like chargers. Guys, I'm going to be doing a full ebook on match coverage, a deep dive into match coverage that uh, you you want to get access to that. That's going to be in our school community, school.com slash Cody Ballard. The cool part about that community is for 10 bucks, you get access to everything on that site. So you get all of the tips, all of the other eBooks, everything for 10 bucks. My Chargers offense that I'm running here, you're going to get all of that stuff. So anyway, back to, back to match coverage. So the trigger for match coverage, if you didn't know this year, it is these quarter flats and these uh, soft squat, or I'm sorry, not uh, quarter flats and seam flats. Those are the main triggers for uh, for it. Against bunch shuts, I got to remind myself that my main priority here is to take this thing across. There it is, match coverage, man, cutting things. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you guys. There's not like. <laughs> Match coverage is here. Match coverage is here. We've been wanting it for years. I personally have wanted this to be good. The last time I feel like match cover was like actually really good was Madden 21 current gen just because of the way the movement. Um, I'm hoping that this coverage, even though you're still going to see a lot of bunch strong, right, ultimately, um, I think this is 
This is a really good, really, really, really good way to play. I think I almost threw a pick there. I actually think one of the best routes in the game is this solo side C route. Not going to lie, I think the C route's really good. The trick with DB Fire 2 also, while we're talking about these kind of stuff, the biggest thing that I've learned over the years about how to beat a good DB Fire 2 is step up in the pocket. Step up in the pocket. Okay? So I'm going to step up, step up, step up. There, I don't know what that is, but we're going to take that seam. You see seam streaks, boys. Hopefully you see seam streaks. They're really good. They're really, really, really good. See how I'm able to step up? I almost was able to throw a touchdown there. But if he's going to send DB Fire 2 every play, another thing you can do, which it does look like he is going to just do that. So let's just let's just try to hit this corner. Okay, I didn't want that. I want this to slim down. Here's that C route. That's why I like C routes. I think this combo, this corner strike play, if you can read it, is really good. Good duo here. Pacheco fumbling. That's terrible for the game. <sighs> it's actually not terrible for the game. I just can't. I just I, I feel like I fumble so much. I feel like I have to play on conservative. Then I see a lot of people not playing on it. It makes me want to not play on it, and then that happens. All right, here we go. Cover four. Cover six, Willie. Creating a match. Take that away. I'm going there. That's a pick. That's a pick. Somebody. I got four people there. <laughs> you see it, boys. Hopefully you see it. This is good. This defense is good. It's very, very good. You see how it does against spread. Should be fine. I'm looking for crossers. Looking for crossers. There's that blitz. Guys, also, Pat Tillman, the new captain, he's, like, perfect for, for Dollar because he uh, he loops really, really well. You want to be doing this out of cover six, Willie. The cool part, again, this is something I was saying in the beginning, one of the real cool parts about cover six, Willie, is this is all triggered by the seam flats. So as long as you have seam flats on the field, then you're good. You know, there he goes. Try, you know, nope, you got to take your check downs against this. You cannot get greedy against this. Look at that. That's three picks. I think that's three straight drives with picks. He's going to be out of here. Boys, match coverage is match coverage is here. All right, boys, we're back. Let's see if we can keep playing good defense. Match coverage. I mean, we've literally gotten, I think, three straight picks running it. We're going to see if we can get uh, – see if the defense is still doing really well. Uh, I, I think it's equipped. I think it's finally – fully equipped and capable to defend almost anything that somebody's going to do because of how good the coverage plays, even if it's not actually – like even if it's four strong, even if it's like bunch strong, the coverage, it doesn't necessarily match the same, but you also have a blitz now behind it with the cover six willy. I, I really hope they don't patch cover six willy. I'm not going to lie because it's the only defense in dollar that you have um, – that you actually have the – the crossfire blitz angle. So anyway, I just think this is a really good deed. There's a cut. It could be the ball. That's home. that's our fourth pick. Just dropped it. And you see, boys. I mean, you're seeing this. This is this is a this is a legitimate top tier defense right now. I mean, this is you're getting good pressure. You've got good run support. I'm gonna shade the match outside this time. Maybe defend that corner out a little better. Just to throw it again. There's a KO. You're seeing, boys. You're seeing this. This is this is something, and I love personally match. I've read a ton of books about match, uh, match coverage, and why it is um, as good as it is. I'm gonna cut that cross for myself. Take it away. There's fourth down. That's four straight stops against a variety of different formations, and hopefully you see like match coverage. <laughs> match coverage is here. Match coverage is here, boys. Hundred percent. Okay, um, let's see here. I don't even know what this defense is. Let's just snap the ball, take our check down read, and let's get one block. I don't know why I spend. I shouldn't have spun. Shouldn't have spun. Not my finest, not my finest decision. Let's go to the RPO here, and let's actually try to hype all this flat because I haven't tried this post patch. Let's see if we can throw this flat route. 
Yep, 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 yep. Still good. Still very good. Still very good. Just didn't quite get the the final push into the end zone there, but uh, we see the uh, see the potential. Look where this tied in here. It's a good catch. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, Madden 25 is is slowly becoming a defensive game, a more defensive game. And I think you're going to see the, – the thing with offense in this year's game that I'm starting to learn is you, you have to have, like, check down reads. Really, the everything in Madden so far that I've seen – that they've done the changes to match coverage that I'm talking about in this video, the switch stick, all of those features are really designed to take away the big play. So I think you're going to have to get better at kind of working the ball up and down the field, which I personally am a huge fan of. I'm a huge fan of that. You're not going to have like, oh, we just threw the ball for 40 yards on one play, and then we're going to throw it for 30 on the next play, and we're going to be in there. You know, all right, he's starting to. He's starting to isolate me over there. I need to I need to make an adjustment. Okay, so one little adjustment you can make. So, like, let's say someone's actually doing this to you. Okay, now we have a third out there. Now we have a third, and we're going to cross man. Um, of course, he ran the ball. I want him to pass. But that's – that's a. am surprised that that's actually uh, – honestly, I'm so kind of surprised that that actually is open. Let's see that third. That was almost a pick. Yeah, that third match is like I don't want it to. Let's actually just – so this is where situationally – okay, now we're in a different formation. So let's get back to cover six with Lily. There's a screen. That's decent defense. Now get him in a fourth and one. If he goes to trips tied in – okay, seam flat. Let's pinch the D-line. Get a stop there. Good, good tackle, Pat. Dude, Pat Tillman is a dog. Good tackle, Pat. Way to go, buddy. Oh, boys, match coverage is looking really good. I'm going to leave it there for now. Got a little bit to learn. This defense is looking really good. 